So good morning. My name is Dr. Mano. I'm um, uh, one of the staff here and I teach healing meditation. The form of healing meditation I teach was um, invented by forest monks of Thailand long, long time ago. And they roamed this part of, of Asia. And forest monks were unique people. People have deep respect in them. And they were seen as a kind of uh, miracle workers, holy people, and they performed rituals and help other people to get away from disease. And they have meditation, which gives them uh, protection and allow them to, to attain nirvana. Now, I, I have been working with this technique of forest monks for over 30 years and wrote a, a book thesis of, about their practice and have been using it for teaching people, especially those who, who suffer from cancer and those who are terminally ill and have found the technique very useful. So I apply for people who are healthy and would like to have a better, better life and I found it was very useful also. Um, last time I I mentioned um, just basic principles of meditation. I, there are some uh, important principles they have to, to revise. And that meditation is not isolation. It's not uh, a process of approaching idleness or stillness. It is an ongoing process of internal dialogue. So on the one hand you have dialogue with the instructor, on, but deep inside of you there is another level of dialogue which was going on all the time and that is a dialogue between the conscious mind and the subconscious mind and also the inner senses and the external sense. These take place all the time when you are meditating. No matter when you're sitting alone or whether you're sitting in groups or whether you are sitting in a, in a kind of public place. And meditation is not a, a discipline it's just coming from inside of you and you are aware of what's going on and then you work with it, you cultivate something from the dialogue. And this could take a very long time. Meditation doesn't require you to sit cross-legged and I do not encourage people uh, to sit cross-legged unnecessarily. You may sit in the chair, sit in the way you like and you may be in any position that you like. It has to do with the, the physical and, and emotional and then psychological aspect of body and mind. So the body, the position has very little effect on it. Now meditation may have to do with the use of mantra. What is mantra? Mantra come from the word in Sanskrit man, which means to think, and instrumental suffix tru, mantra, means thinking tool. So it's the tool for thought. Tool would help you to think better. Now mantra is necessary when we need it. Not all the time we need mantra. Mantra can be sound, can be song that you like, can be music, it could be word, it could be sentence, it could be a, an image, and it also could be, could be the bodily position. So, Tai Chi, when you are moving your body, 
to a particular position slowly. This is a kind of mantra. Mm. 